Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. Right now, I am flying over the Lingdingyang Bay in South China. Can you imagine that? Under the sea surface, at a depth of 40 meters, 32 giant tubes, each as big as an aircraft carrier, are connected to form an underwater highway that benefits the lives of 86 million people. How was this undersea tunnel constructed? I'm Liz. Today, let's replicate this mega project. There are three methods for constructing an undersea tunnel. Drill and blast tunneling for hard rock, shield tunneling that preserves surface navigation, and the more cost-effective immersed tube tunneling. The Shenzhen Zhongshan Tunnel adopts immersed tube tunneling. Prefabricated giant tubes are transported and sunk into designated positions connected one after another. When the two middle tubes are connected, the undersea tunnel is completed. Let's use acrylic tubes to simulate the immersed tubes, dividing them into four sections. Each tube consists of the tube itself and a ceiling plate. The black ceiling plate will prevent this tunnel from leaking. Now we can fill the tank with water. First, we position the entrance and exit of the tunnel, the two sections connecting the land and the sea. Then, we sink tube number two to the seabed and connect it to tube number one. We have placed a water stop at their junction. Tighten the screws connecting tubes one and two. This is the first step to ensure a watertight connection. As you can see, there is still some water between the two tubes. This problem also occurs when building real tunnels. How can we solve it? We would create a vacuum at the junction so that the two tubes fit even tighter. We will use a syringe to suck out the water inside. The water level slowly drops once we start pumping water. Once the water is gone, we remove the ceiling plates. Okay, the first plate is removed. Now let's remove the ceiling plate of tube number two. Then theoretically, the first and second tubes are connected. Now let's use the same method to connect the third and fourth tubes. We face a new problem as we sink tube number three into the water. There are still some gaps between these two tubes, making them difficult to connect. Immersed tube thus has a special design. The end connection of the tube has a part that can be pulled out like a drawer, so that the two segments can be successfully connected even in the presence of disparity. Next, we repeat the steps of tightening the screws, sucking out the water, and removing the ceiling plates. As this tube is so long that it exceeds the reach of my arms, I need tools to get it out. With that, our undersea tunnel is now complete. It's time for a test drive with our undersea tunnel. Place the test car in the tunnel. This immersed tube tunnel allows a vehicle to go through a 1.4 meter wide water tank easily. But what if the obstacle to be overcome was the vast expanse of the Lingdingyang Bay? This is the vast expanse of water that has inspired countless poems. The A-shaped bay divides the Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay area into its eastern and western shores. In the past, traveling from Zhongshan to Shenzhen required a detour of over 100 kilometers around the tip of the Pearl River estuary. The inconvenience of transportation has hindered potential development in the region. How can we address this practical problem? I am currently driving through the world's first bi-directional eight-lane undersea tunnel. There is over 40 meters of seawater above my head. Similar to the experiment, this nearly seven kilometer long tunnel consists of 32 humongous immersed tubes. Each of these tubes weighs 80,000 tons, 
equivalent to the weight of an aircraft carrier. Overcoming the fluctuations of water pressure, sinking these massive tubes into their predetermined positions with centimeter precision and ensuring that they are seamlessly connected without any leaking is like sewing together centimeter sized flowers with a needle the size of an aircraft carrier. The super immersed tube tunnel serves as the first phase of the cross sea project Shenzhen Zhongshan Link covering the first one-third of the entire route. The tunnel is considered the optimal construction solution due to height restrictions near the airport. Passing this artificial island, we reach the Shenzhen Zhongshan Bridge. A 17 kilometers long silver ribbon stretches across the Mingding Yang Bay. As the world's highest bridge by navigational clearance, it features a 270 meter main tower and a clearance of 76.5 meters, allowing large vessels taller than 20 story buildings to pass seamlessly. The tunnel and bridge together forms the 24-kilometre Shenzhen Zhongshan Link. This vital link completes the horizontal stroke of the A shape and added a major transportation artery to the Greater Bay Area. With this link, travel time between Shenzhen and Zhongshan reduced from 2 hours to just 30 minutes, connecting 11 cities in the Greater Bay Area within an hour, bringing 86 million people into one integrated community. Over the past 75 years, countless transportation arteries just like the Shenzhen Zhongshan Link have stretched across the vast terrain of China, cut through mountains and cross seas, weaving a 6 million kilometer transportation network. This network brings the roads to everyone's doorstep and brings the farthest reaches of our aspirations within arm's reach. <laughs> Oh, Hannah Lindy, yeah.